Who's the moo moo? Who is the moo moo? Huh? Who is the moo moo? Yes. <laughs> hey everyone, Audrey here from Pandemonium. I just wanted to um, say hello from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. This is my last day here in Myrtle Beach. I'm getting ready to hit the road. My videos are now current. I finally got caught up. Yay! <laughs> so, everything's all caught up. Now when y'all comment, um, the videos won't be a couple months behind, so the interaction will be better, so I, I think, anyways. But, um, yeah, I wanted to get my videos caught up, and I did, so I've got a couple things I've got to do before leaving the beach. Like I said in a previous video, we're going to be heading up north, aren't we, Moomoo? Come here. Yes. We've been here in Myrtle Beach for a couple months. Um, I was resetting, and by, what I mean by that is that I had to um, go back to work for, uh, it was three months, and then um, to make money and stuff to get back on the road. Didn't I? Yes, and you were such a good girl. <laughs> I know, Moo Moo's ready to get back on the road, and some of my. Get in your seat. What? We do it all. <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> some video. Well, I'm actually uploading a video right now. Um, I finally got a cover for the dash. So, hopefully no more reflection. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Gotta grab some propane. I also have to go get some gas because I'm a, a little over half a tank. And um, then we're gonna hit the road and head up towards North Carolina. I had to have... Um, my hitch rewelded because it was messed up. It was it was hanging, um, so they did that at 360 collision. They did an awesome job. Thank you very much, Corey and Dave. Hurry up, Moomoo. But yeah, everything looks pretty good. This is the Walmart that we stayed in last night. This is the one closer to um, the college by Conway. They're pretty cool here. About staying so you got your food mm. <laughs> how you feeling about that want to give kisses <laughs> all right well we're headed over to Kroger's because I have a Kroger card and I have a hundred points and it gives me ten cents off per gallon so we go ahead and fill up before we have to leave. done with gas. Now we're going to head up to North Myrtle Beach. Aren't we, Moo Moo? Yep.
where Myrtle Beach meets North Myrtle Beach. We took the bypass, which was 31, and that kind of bypassed the 17, the busy area and all the lights. North Myrtle Beach is here, the way we're going to the left, and you want to go back to Myrtle Beach, it's right there to the right, where that car is going. Yep, Myrtle Beach is that way. Going this way, and there's a Walmart right here, actually, off of Kings Road. Right when you get into North Myrtle Beach. The mall is actually, if you follow this way, there's a mall right over there. This is Tanger Outlet Mall, but I've um, stayed at this location several times, and they're cool with overnighting here. Never had a problem. There's a lot of shopping around and restaurants around this area. Actually, right past this is called Restaurant Row, and it's nothing but restaurants. Yep, we're here at Walmart, and also, I forgot to mention, um, there's a walking path here. It starts at this light, and there's a, it's just a sidewalk, and then um, it crosses over the road, and it continues on down. That is the second panhandler I saw. Hmm. And down here is where the RVs usually park. Away from everybody else. There's a Class A behind me. There's another Class A. Actually, one, two Class A's. A large Class C. I've seen that Class C here before. So we're just gonna um, swing it around. There's a little lake here too. Man-made, of course. There's the other Class A pulling in. There's that Class C that I've seen before. It looks like they rubberized the bottom of the RV and the door and also the roof. I like how they've done that. They're also towing a lot of stuff on that trailer. Got a motorcycle, bikes, Compressor, got a lot of stuff going on there. <laughs> what do you think, Moo Moo? Huh? She is. Well, are you tired? You are? Are you hungry? I already fed you. We're getting ready to go on a little walk in a minute. <sighs> Alright, like I said, this is the start of North Myrtle Beach. This is the southern part. And um, if you go further towards the end of North Myrtle Beach, the northern part, where Little River is, there's another Walmart, and I've boondocked at that uh, Walmart as well with no problems. So, there are several Walmarts throughout this area that are cool with boondocking. Actually, I don't know any that aren't except the main one in Myrtle Beach, right in the center of Myrtle Beach, only allows 24-hour parking, and that's for overnighting. They don't like uh, you to come back. Um, just one night and that's it, so I try to stay away from that one because um, there are plenty of them in the surrounding areas that are good, so. Come on, Moo Moo. <laughs> I actually backed it up into a spot because I actually like to be backed up. It just is, takes up less room when I'm backed up, so. And my solar panels are still in the sun, so, oh, bright sun. Yep, we're good on that. What you doing, Mama? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are those your ducky friends? Hey duckies. <laughs> well, I'm hoping that this fabric 
is working. I guess I won't know until I edit this video, but I haven't seen any reflection, so hopefully y'all done on video. It seems to be working. More RVs just pulled up. There's a Class A and there's a Class B right there. They're from New Hampshire. Ready to go for a walk? <laughs> he said, come on, let's go. I'm ready. I'm excited. All right, let me lock the doors. Um, I don't know if I showed this before, but I installed this, this automatic lock because I lost my key one time. I had to crawl through the window. Luckily, I had my window open. So, yep, so it's just a keypad and it fits. You ready? <laughs> All right, come on. Come here so I can put the leash on you. <laughs> come here. <laughs> Good girl. You got your leash on. Okay. Those ducks are so friendly. God, it's so windy. Washington Southern Tour. On April 27, 1791, President George Washington spent the night nearby at the Indigo Plantation of Jeremiah Vereen. He wrote in his diary that he was entertained and very kindly without being able to make compensation. The next day, Vereen guided Washington across the Lewis Swash, now Singleton Swash, and onto the Strand at the Long Bay, now Myrtle Beach. Awesome. Here's Myrtle Beach Travel Park. It's an oceanfront RV resort. All along this road is um, actually a couple RV resorts. It's popular back here. When we made it back to the RV, are you sleepy, Moo Moo? She's like, yes. <laughs> it's too early to go to bed yet. But we are going to get to bed pretty early because I want to get up early and head towards um, North Carolina. It's almost 9 o'clock now. So, yeah, I'd say we're going to go to bed probably about, what, 10 o'clock in an hour or 11? <laughs> She's like, oh no, not 11. You saw she stopped wagging her tail. <laughs> You're going to bed now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. See, so, oh, that's what it is. She's like, yep, lazy. All right, well, good night, everybody. And we'll see you later. Say bye, Moo Moo. <laughs>